today I'm going to try to attempt to fix my uh, Hyundai i20 folding mirror. Um, something's gone wrong with it where it doesn't fold back. The internal part works fine. So as far as I'm aware, um, so something's gone wrong with the actuator or the motor that controls the rotation part. So I've had a go at this before and I've not uh, done very well trying to get it fixed. But uh, I've tried taking it all to bits in here. Couldn't get very far. Uh, what I understand now is I have to get in there somehow. So I need to pop this glass out and then get access to the motor. So I've got a spare motor and some gears. So once I take this to bits, we'll find out what the actual problem is. A little friend in there, a little spider. He's obviously been making his home in there. So what I did, I got a spoon and I put a spoon in there and I pried it and bried it and then eventually there was a kind of sound like something coming apart. Um, in a bad way I've got this camera angle here, the uh, light's coming in the kitchen window. So anyway, that then allowed that to pop up. It looks like I've actually broken one of the clips there. So the way this works is there's four clips that go over these areas here. So there's obviously a better way than just simply pulling it because obviously that's snapped off. But as far as I'm aware it should be okay. So now I've got that apart, I'll see how far I can get. Don't know how successful it will be, but uh, that's the mirror part. And I don't know if that just pulls off. There's two connectors there. Terrible light the way I'm doing this. But uh, that's the next part. Found the bit that broke off, so I will just reattach that with some uh, super glue. More light on that. So yeah, a bit of super glue that should have that sorted out.
I'm currently uh, gluing that tab back on there just now with some super glue. And at the same time, while holding the camera and pressing down to apply pressure on the super glue, that little spider is crawling up the back of my neck. I don't know how the hell it managed to get there, but uh, I've got my hands uh, <laughs> my hands occupied, so I ain't going to be touching the spider right now. So anyway, bit of comedy there. These uh, terminals seem to be uh, pretty solid, so I'm not going to risk it by trying to pull them off. I'll just leave them as they are. Just found the um, the super glue is sticking my fingers perfectly, but it doesn't seem to be sticking the plastic for these tabs. So uh, maybe it's that kind of plastic that just doesn't like super glue. Anyway, find out later. These are my little spare parts I've got. So obviously I have a spare uh, actuator motor. I got these from uh, a written off uh, smashed up Hyundai 20. Uh, the mirror was actually smashed to hell, so I managed to get these parts quite easily. So some sort of control board. And then I've got two uh, two sets of spare gears. I need to clean them up and put some other sort of grease on them, I guess. I've had them for. I guess about eight months now, but I've just never got around to doing this job. So anyway, the uh, the mirror itself, it looks like that tab has finally decided to glue on. So it looks as per usual. I'll have another look at these uh, terminals. Maybe I'll get a pair of pliers and see if I can pull them off. But they didn't really seem to be uh, keen to come off. So I'll get a pair of pliers on that and see what happens. Plier method worked, so I've got these off, got the mirror off, and uh, I'll see where I need to go next. I'm imagining I need to get into it's terrible light. Um, I imagine I need to get into that part to get to that because this part is working okay. Um, anyway, bit of investigation required. Well, I've found the problem. Turns out, this connector, the green cable, it's not focusing this, uh, this connector was corroded. So, uh, I'm going to actually solder that onto this one. If I do that, it works fine. So, uh, yep. Yeah. That was the problem. Nothing to do with the motor, nothing to do with the circuit, nothing to do with the gears. Just a bad connector. And I could see that because inside here, it was actually kind of green looking, which may be a coincidence with the colour of the cable. But uh, I'm going to get my solder and iron out. I'm just going to solder that onto there, and that'll do me. Pleased to say it's now pretty much back together. It, this is a lot more difficult than it needs to be because you can't get these connectors through any of these bits. So you end up having a very large daisy chain that you have to keep moving around. I actually had to cut this cover, the shroud. This eventually comes out once you take it all to bits. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more work than it needs to be just for a simple uh, corroded terminal. That's the uh, side mirror fully reassembled. Um, proof of the pudding's in the eating. Let's fit it to the car and see what happens. I 
you're just putting the thing back on so you've got three 10 millimeter bolts this one's really easy to access you've just got three yellow clips and there's a trim panel there you just pull that off or just get something behind it and gently pry it off and then the door card you can just have just stuffed a screwdriver down the side just to give me a bit extra space because then you can get your fingers in and obviously the proper way to do this is probably to take the door panel completely off but as long as you're careful you'll be able to get these bolts in and out without actually having to do that and then just put one finger underneath and then your other hand put the other finger on top and turn it in that's the uh the bolts all uh, done up and just give this door panel a quick dunt and that'll be fine and then you just line up these three bits pops on no problem at all right so now's the proof of the pudding let's see if the mirror works it did work without it being installed so let's see how it goes first press of the button there we go in the way and out the way and here's this one in and out and I better check as well to see if the uh, directional things working yeah that's working fine it's all the way down Looks about right. So anyway, that was a successful job. Uh, all due to corroded terminals.